They'll be calling you a radical, Kevin Blanche. What a week. As if I had time to think, it's number 713 the end. I thought, it, I really did. I thought that was it. This is capitulation, it's over. It started on the beach in Camp Pendleton in San Diego. As me as a boy, when I, my mind first started to understand was when these monsters were going up and my mom and dad right here in Utah, the sun, the sun, the sun, Southern California, the sun, the sun, the sun. The Pendleton Marine, as he fought, they were tree huggers. The contemporary beautiful people were tree and they were beautiful people. And oh, do I mean beautiful. Physically, mentally, spiritually, all of it. As so were the Southern Cal San Diego, they shoved these monsters. I thought it finally ended. As my activism has gone on my whole, whole life. My whole life. I never stopped. I never stopped. I fought in the face as I said, this has been hard, this has been tough, as I was, you think I was born with these scars across my face, it took me years living in this violent place. I have never stopped. As when I left the hospital, we had our meeting right there, and all the doctors, everybody's around hugging me and whatever. One of the doctors says, Kevin, now you can go back to your life. And Greta, that beautiful caseworker of mine, she says, he never stopped. I was a red tent in that hospital. Thousands have come out. That's how they rate them. They don't let you know that. It's kumbaya when you go in. They're not going to let you know how sick they are. I knew how sick they The clerk who did a ticket told me you're the only red tent I ever seen walk out of here. Ever. Ever. Walking spiritually, the fight kept me alive. You, all of you that came to my aid, call my site. Is this vlog has been such brutal, intense, hard work. If you don't believe me, ask Jan, Miss Brooklyn Klein. Ask Christian and Jules. Is it thankless? Oh, fuck, is it thankless? economically. Spiritually, it's fulfilling as it gets. As the devil, the Apple Canyon. I got thinking, is this where this started? As this activism was in 1968, as it evolved in 1979, I'm in that crowd, 40,000. And who am I with? I'm with my partner. My partner and I, that beautiful, incredible female, one of the most successful freaking models in freaking Southern California history. She sold her soul to the devil. As we were contemporaries, we weren't far freaking left democracy now, so they're not gonna do anything for us. It's video killed the media star, because they're filthy, stinking rich. They're gonna protect, they're gonna preach to the bar, the far right radical fucking, age. oh yeah, did they do? The hypocrites, oh yeah, did they do? We were contemporaries. We were the contemporary American. <laughs> As you think this sign was very long ago? Oh no. Oh no. As I've been lecturing, lecturing, lecturing for 30 years on where is this the most dangerous reactors in the world? I've always said the most dangerous reactor on earth is Diablo Canyon. Because where it's, oh yes, as they got it, we were so against it. Both of them, and they got shoved down our throats even then, but we didn't have these weapons then. We didn't have social media. We didn't have these cameras. We didn't have freaking YouTube, Facebook, as like-minded people could say, oh, they're doing the same thing we are there. Right here in Ogden, Utah, where I live, we were so progressive and anti-nuclear, blow your mind, Utah was ground zero. Ask Edward Abbey, ask Walter Center. They're gonna live anywhere they lived here. As we would freaking go around, her and I, in San Diego, she was a San Diego girl. We were in that crowd. As the man just followed, because we had the beautiful females on our side, because they were truly beautiful. As the other females, I told her, is when I got so severely sick in the hospital, you know, she called, flew up here, came to me and says, Kevin, I'm so sorry what's happened to you. I'm so sorry what's happened to you, you know, and I'm like, yeah, and she says, come live with me in LA. I'm rich, I'm single, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'll take care of you. You know, it was quite an offer, but, told her no, just like I told her then. I said, I didn't sell my soul to the fucking devil. That's what we call the Apple Canyon. So I say, is this over? And I got thinking a lot, this didn't start on the beach in San Diego, which I thought it did the other day. It started when my father, the draft of Marine, was freaking human guinea pig in the Nevada test site. That's when it started, before I was born. Of course, it's spite for I was ever born to set this right. I represent the atomic veterans and their children and their families. I always have. That's me. That's me. His sperm was so lit up when it went into my beautiful freaking mother. And freaking I was conceived. And, you know, a boy-girl twin came out of there. As we know the dynamic. I can go on a whole lecture about boy-girl twin. I know now as my health issues and my autism and my brain and everything. I know why. It took me a long time to understand why. Genetic code was so mutated and lit up like a Christmas tree. And when the protest started, and we would stand there, all us beautiful people, 
Southern California, the sun, the sun, because that's where the beautiful people were, and they are still. But the LA people, you beautiful so-called people, oh no, oh no, oh no, you're ugly. You're really ugly. You think you're physically beautiful? As I see one of the, I was talking to her the other day, because I won't speak to her, because she sold her soul to the devil for that money as you chase your coffin into that freaking zero. We're contemporaries, I was on Wall Street. I was a derivative trader, you people, all of them, derivative, them, evil 1%, you don't even know what derivative is. I hedge portfolios for children's organizations. I hedge portfolios for the long association. I did a lot of good work, and there was a lot of people there who were very social. We were contemporaries in those days. We had jobs, we had careers, but we loved it. We weren't the far right, freaking radical, freaking gun toting freaking lunatics. Ignorance. But we weren't the hypocrites either. We were contemporaries, beautiful people who loved the earth, who had logic and had reason, who loved children, who loved all people. We weren't racist, we weren't anti-Semitic, we weren't nothing. We were just freaking people living our lives, who loved the freaking earth, and that's why I am alive. I know no doubt in my life. I never stopped this fight. As Greta says, huh, he never quit. I didn't quit. Most of these videos that I did in that vlog, I've gone along, I'm in critical fucking condition. And I've had hundreds of emails come to me because I told everybody, that's it. I've been telling every last few days. I'm like, Kevin, you can't quit. You've inspired a whole different brand of activism. As this is a tree hugger renaissance. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What they've done to us as tree huggers. I've always been a tree hugger. I never stopped. I never fucking quit for one fucking day. I fought Diablo Canyon. I'm in that fucking crowd, 40,000. With her. With her. Because I love it. As I was talking to her, and her, she says, I'm like, what about, who's the publicist down there? Who's fucking, you know, because the Bikini Islands, the Bikini, and then, you know, of course, Nicole Fission down there, who she knows, by the way, is in the same magazine with her. You know, really sexy. Yeah, real fucking. Now the new one, he's went to and says, oh, Rita Fukushima. That ain't fucking sexy. And that's a big mistake. Whoever named you that girl, you better back out. Diablo Candy needs to go down because I'll tell you why, because the, we're at six. Was the most messed up, fucked up reactor in the world, the songs. Accident, accident, accident. We gotta shut down, but the most dangerous reactor on Earth. Here's the Apple Canyon. Why? Because where it sits. Fuck yes. But the jet stream moves left to right. This is not a Southern California issue. This is a Northern California. When that plume goes up, it will, any plume, Fukushima tells us so. It, Chernobyl, that's, how do we forget about Chernobyl? This issue isn't so much Fukushima, it's Chernobyl. What we've done through the IAA as these protests, 1.2 million sick apart, well, what happened to us? What happened to it? It's not the 1% didn't do this to us. We did this to our fucking selves. Because you start chasing that money in your shiny fucking coffin. Oh, look at me. I grew up as a rock mason. You know, I watched this ever. Oh, I got fake rock right here. Right here on these buildings. I got fake fucking stuck right here. This is my fucking town. I've got 10,000 frescoes I did. I never sold my soul to the fake rock fucking devil. I never sold my soul to the fucking Diablo fucking devil. I never sold my fucking soul to the fucking money spiral. They say, all oh, you fuckers in LA. She did. You know, she told me, move it just, I told her the same thing. Fuck no. This is a tree hugger renaissance. This is the beautiful people inside, which translates outside. I think about Ringo, as I went to in this whole 600 day path of mine. Most of these videos I've done, I'm in extreme critical condition. Against all odds, but it's the sun, the sun, the sun, who I am at my root and my core. Ringo stands up with the peace sign when I went out and seen him and he says, we never stopped trying and we never stopped fighting. We can't stop now. I think about people like him, Jane Fonda, who was probably there that day. You know, Moonbeamer Jerry Brown, who's no Beamer and the Beat Nicks, and he, he's representative of the phony fakes as they sold their fucking soul. He won't come back to us. As Barbara Boxer came back to us because we fucking pushed her there. As I might call to her every fucking day. We educated her. The DOJ investigation, that's what shut down fucking songs. This was not about the economy. Everybody says, oh, it's the economy. If it was about the economics, there would not ever have been one reactor. There's still an It's never been economic and physical. It's the greatest cash cow scam in a fucking world is Israel. The biggest mass murders there ever fucking were, and it's always been that way. That's all, oh, we're gonna lose 1,100 jobs. We lost jobs when we quit making mustard gas. We lose jobs when we arrest a pimp. That's bullshit. We'll create fucking solar because it's called destructive technology. I fucking teach it. It's factual, it's factual, it's factual. That's Toyota in Japan. <laughs> This is an epic, epic fucking tree hugger fucking renaissance. This was stopped because social media got into the conscience of people and new activists were born. People said, you can't stop fighting, Kevin. You inspired me. You gave me fucking hope. You can't stop now. Well, I can't stop because that's who I am. 
Well, I'll do this till the day I fucking die from the day I was old enough to understand at eight years old. Standing on the beach looking up when they were building these fucking monsters, shoving them down our throats so the cavalry fought. If that thing goes at Diablo Camp, which we know is the most dangerous on earth because of where it sits, they're gonna kill a whole bunch of people in Southern California. It will kill millions. It will kill millions across America. Everybody says, oh, why is the Fukushima killing so many people? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Fuck, cancer rates are spiking dramatically. The, the article from the young woman in fucking Seattle, I mean, they're, they're, they're fucking going crazy. You fuckers in LA, you shiny cop, you think you're beautiful? You're fucking ugly. You're on the wrong side, fuckers. The wrong fucking side. Because the real beautiful people got fucking songs fucking shut down, and I know you are. Stand tuned to them. This is not that long ago, this sign. Remember? Remember? Oh, we're gonna get those Iraqis. We mass murder them boys. We're gonna get their oil. The shit you fall for makes me sick.